Today we're talking about soccer tricks and I know you're probably scrolling through YouTube and there's a bunch of YouTubers out there who have incredible skill tutorials. They're doing crazy tricks that I could probably only do 10% of them. But if you've been watching my videos for a while, you know I don't want you to be fancy. I want you to be effective. I'm not saying you can't use moves. I'm not saying you can't use your skills to create chances for yourself, create chances for your teammates. What I'm saying is focus on developing real skills that will actually help you in the game. So saying that, I wanna show you three what I'm calling tricks because usually I would tell you, just use your pace to get past players. Use your good touches to get past players. If I'm going past a guy, Okay, a lot of the times I don't even need to make a move. He may be expecting me to make a move and I can just take a touch, accelerate and move past him. Okay, but today I wanna to talk about a few tricks that can actually get the player going the other way. So the first one we're gonna talk about is a body feint. Okay, and a body feint is when I am using my body to get the player going one way, get the defender going one way, and then I skip away the other way. Okay, so that's the first one I want you to look at. Okay, so I'm dribbling at the guy. I fake like I'm taking a touch this way. That's what I'm faking. I'm faking like I'm taking that touch and then I skip out this way. Okay, but to look at it in a little more detail, dribble at him and then faint. It's not, I'm not just putting my foot beside the ball. Okay, I'm fainting with my body. He has to think that I'm actually going that way. And at that point, he's gonna shift. He's gonna say, oh, and then he'll have to turn because you're going the other way. Okay, so dribble at, faint, skip away. Okay, so you're faking like you can cut and go that way. So it could be like a step over, except it's quicker. Four. Okay, fainting, getting away. So you can do it going forward is a great way to get the defender off balance, but also backwards. Let's take a look at that. So if my back's to the defender, I want him to think I'm going this way and then quickly go the other way. Or I want him to think I'm going this way and go the other way. Okay, so think about shaking defenders with your body. If I just put my foot there, he's not gonna bite. If I sell it with my whole body, he's probably gonna bite. Okay, so faint and go the other way. And again, I'm not doing these at blistering speed. That's for you to practice. What I wanna talk about is the basics of the move, why it's important and when you should do it. Okay, so body faint. Fake one way, go the other way. There's tons of different ways you can do it. Fake one way, go the other way. Backwards, you're back to goal, you're back to the player. Fake one way, go the other way. Fake one way, go the other way, okay? So that's the first trick, body faint. Second trick I wanna talk about is a fake shot. I think it's one of the best things that you can learn to do more often because it's so hard for a defender not to bite when you do a fake shot. His job is to block the shot. And if you really sell it, he's always gonna be biting. He's gonna fake for the goal. He's gonna try to block the shot. Okay, so I want you to think about using a fake shot more often. So let's look at a couple of different ways that you can use a fake shot. First of all, just like the body feint, I'm not just putting my foot there, okay? I have to sell it. It has to look like I'm actually gonna shoot the ball to get the defender to bite. So fake shot with the inside, fake shot with the inside, fake shot, okay, you can go behind the back, fake shot like a Cruyff, fake shot, okay? And you're gonna get defenders to start biting. Even better, fake shot, and I'm going forward. I'm going past the guy into space, creating a shooting opportunity for myself. Okay, so that's the fake shot. You can also do with a roll, okay? So fake shot and roll over, or even better, fake shot, and you pull it back into yourself, okay? Just to make sure that you keep that ball. Sometimes you might need to do a couple. Fake shot or even fake cross, okay? And you're gonna get defenders to start biting. So that's the second trick I want you to practice and use more often is the fake shot. The final one is what I'm calling the bait, okay? And I do this a lot. I don't know where, when I started doing this. It's probably when I got into like freestyle tricks, all these fancy things. But I started uh, 
doing this one more often than others just subconsciously i don't know why but it always seems to work i don't know why it always seems to work so say the defender's trying to trap me in a corner or something like this he's trying to close me down what i'll do is i'll just play it like this let the ball show to him and then as he goes for it i'll pull it away and go like that okay so that's how i do my bait and let's look at that again okay so he's trying to close me down i say okay take it nope you can't take it okay take the ball nope i'm gone okay sure nope can't have it fake or bait okay show it to him take it away make him lunge in make him think he can get it and then take the ball away so i just want to talk about a couple other ways that you could pull a bait again bait is just getting him to come in and then going away so i could just be show him a bit of the ball dribble dribble maybe we're one-on-one -on -one. i show him a bit of the ball when i think he's gonna lunge okay quick feet get away from him. or bait can just be a little change of speed Okay, so I'm going fast, I'm running fast, and then all of a sudden I slow down, and then I go fast again. Okay, so bait them in. Try to make them lunge for the ball, and then get away. Okay? Again, you could just show them the ball, and turn. Not like that sloppy. Show them the ball. Okay, third. Show them the ball, have it? No, don't have it. Okay, but this one is mine here. I don't know why, but I'm saying it's my trademark move. I show them the ball and I take it away. Okay, so there's three soccer tricks you can use to fool defenders, create more space for yourself. But like I said in the beginning, be more effective. These are skills that will actually work. Okay, so let's review quickly. Body feint. I'm pushing him one way with my body and then I'm skipping away. Okay, or if it's, he's on my back, I'm faking one way and I'm skipping away. Remember, don't just put your foot there. Don't just go through the motions. Actually faint, throw him with your body. Okay? My whole body is pushing him in one direction. Next, there's the fake shot. Right around the top of the box. It can be a fake shot, it can be a fake cross, it can be a fake long ball. Okay, get him to bite, sell it like you're actually gonna hit it. And then with all these moves, it's that quick acceleration. Okay, so after your move, don't just jog away. You have to be quick. You have to put on a bit of pace to get away. But that last one was the fake shot. Okay, and we'll get away into space. Fake shot, really helpful. Last one we talked about was the bait. So I'm just gonna show him the ball. Think he can have it? No, he can't have it. Okay, show him a bit of the ball, make him lunge for it. Can't have it. Or like I did behind the back, show it, pull it away. Okay, so bait them in. It can just be that change of speed we talked about. Show them the ball and then get away. You might be going nice and quick and then you slow down right before it gets to you. So we're going quick, then we slow down. As he stops, then we go. Bait him with your speed. Okay, show him the ball and then get away. So those are three soccer tricks I want you to think about and I want you to practice and I want you to actually use in the games. Thanks for watching this video. Whew, I'm out of breath. And we'll talk to you tomorrow.